All right, guys. I'll put a bluegill head on this one. Hopefully you can hear me today. It's raining, so it's not going to be interesting. There's the bluegill head. I don't know if I have enough room to cast this one here, but we'll throw him out there somewhere. Make sure that scale's off there. Nice little gut chunk. Get this blood off my hand. Trying to protect the camera the best I can with a piece of plastic. <laughs> because of the rain, it ain't raining too hard. But I don't want to lose my camera. We're going to throw that, in that somewhere around that log pile over there. I don't know if my sinker will hold, but. We threw a little too far. I'll drop it right there and leave it. See what happens. I'm not going to have another camera set up. Alright, let's put the other one at the front of the log there. I don't know if that'll hold at all. We'll leave it right there. If it holds, it holds. If it don't, we'll have to reel it in. Currently, it looks like it's oh, not too bad. We're not in very deep water, so there's a bunch of kids down here playing in the water. Hopefully, they're not spooking the fish too much. I don't want to sit down and keep an eye on it. I'm going to set my tripod up. There's no guarantee of no fish here. No guarantees. A turtle, maybe. Hopefully you can see everything. Current's pulling on the lines. That's about it. So. Need to back up just a hair, probably, so you can see everything. <sighs> An umbrella over the camera might be work better on the tripod. Yep, you ain't gonna be able to hear crap on this video. These kids are non-stop yelling. That's the things you put up when you're bank fishing. They're just kids, so having fun. Next to the river, even. They're in the water trying to catch minnows with a bowl. Alright, we're getting some action. That could be a current, but yeah, we're getting a little tippy on that first rod there to the left. Getting a little tippy. That might be a bite. I'm not really expecting one here, but I thought I'd try. I'll probably move on after seeing all these kids. Oop, that was a bite. There it is. Something's trying to bite it. It might be a turtle or gar, but we'll see. I'd say at least I got a bite. Look at it. Yep, something's trying to bite it. Let's see if it'll hook. I hope he let go. He didn't hook up yet. Something's definitely biting on it though. I'm going to 
throw the other one in. I think it'd be in the way. It snagged up. Nope. Thought it was. I'm snagged on somebody's line. Three different places. Let's see if I can bring all of them in. Look at that. Let's see what we got here. Somebody's been drying here. <laughs> Well, I got me a little crankbait. Looks like not even rusted or anything. It's not been there long. Well, at least I got one of those in and we're getting a bite again. Oh, I missed him. Missed him though. I'm pretty sure that might have been a catfish. That might have been a catfish that time. We'll see what the bait looks like. Still looks good. All right, we'll try it again. Go ahead and throw it in the other one. excitement. Let me get that crankbait. For a moment. I may have to throw it back out. I just surprised that a bite anyway. What the heck? Got me a crankbait. all this line up to and I might get another bite maybe I'm lucky pull all this line up and throw it away just lucky it ain't gone thunder that'll be all right if it don't all right I'll snag my line here every which way to Sunday Look at that mass. Holy crap. I'm going to start cutting lines. <laughs> I'm going to throw that one back at it. I don't think I got it in there where I need it. Still got a bunch of lines. There we go. We're going to throw this over that way anywhere, away from that side. Just in case there's a fish in there, I can get him out. We'll put it right over there. Get a little bait across from here. See if there's anything hugging that bank over there. See a bunch of minnows. See, look at that minnow over there. He's going crazy. I don't know if I spooked him or what. Alright, we'll throw this one back out. I'm sure there's some catfish in there, but there could also be some. Lots of turtles and gar. Let's try it again. It might just be a gar, so I don't know if I got it deep enough again, but maybe we can draw something out of there. That's what I'm hoping for. I think it's Close to that root ball on the left side now, but darn it. We're going to have to put that. 
wipe this camera off. It's probably wet. Fish are back in between the logs, not on this side of it, because it's really shallow on this side of it. Alright. I have to say that there ain't nothing up in that root ball, but... I don't think there is. I think they're on the other side of that root ball. Where that mess of log is. Alright, let's get her out there. There we go. Got it right on that log. There we go. I got it that time, boys. I may not be able to get a fish out, but I got it that time. Got it that time. I may have overdone myself that time. Because the current's pulling the line, so it's not really holding bottom. That sucks. That means I'm probably going to be snagged up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him, boys. Got him. There he is, splashing. I got him. Heck yeah. In the rain. Sprinkling, but let's get him up here. Nice little catfish in the early morning. It's about 10 or 11. There he is. Good thing he's not huge because I never got him out of there. Come on up here, buddy. There he is. Heck yeah, boys. And he's whisker hook too. You can see that hook right there on the outside of his mouth. We're in the corner of the mouth. Barely whisker hooked. Missing a whisker on that side. Oh, there it is. Little bitty. There he is, guys. Nice one. I got a bunch of kids watching me. <laughs> Nothing like it. Let's let him go. Very good one. Here we go. See you later, big buddy. Holy crap, he splashed the hell out of me. There he is out there. 